Well, some people are reducing their alcohol intake for dry July. Others are taking on the challenge of a plastic-free month. Now, if you are keen to join in and make a difference to create a cleaner world for generations to come, our next guest has some inspiring solutions. Welcome to the cafe, Coralie Archer, whose goal is to create only one bin. It's one bin of landfill rubbish across the whole of 2018. Coralie, it is lovely to have you here. Thank you for having me. That sounds quite impressive. I mean, one bag of or one bin of rubbish for a person seems like quite a lot, but one for a family. I mean, you, you've got quite a big family, haven't you? Um, yes, we've got four young children and husband. Right. <laughs> and we've also got two dogs and chickens. We, yeah, we're quite impressed with how well we've been so far. So you've got a bit. And how old are your kids? Uh, nine, six, four, and almost two. I'm just yeah. thinking about all the things that go with children, and quite often they are definitely wrapped in plastic. I yeah. mean, what made you want to set this one bad goal, this one bin goal? Um, we needed a challenge, basically. We, if you want to get your husband to do something, you give him a challenge. So we started cutting down our waste a few years ago by switching to cloth nappies because money was tight going off for our third child. Mm -hmm. um, and then we noticed after a while how much waste we were reducing, and we learned a little bit more about the environment through Kate Mees here in Nappy Workshops yep. and realised how terrible we really were. And so we decided to just give it a try. And we found that there weren't many people out there who were we could connect with and relate to when it came to cutting down waste. So we decided that we would give it a go ourselves, see if we could do it and share what we're doing as well mm. to help others. Because we all, this, in this day and age, we want to try and cut down, but when you actually think about it, when you go to the, the shops and try and buy anything, everything is wrapped in plastic. Yeah. Uh, you can take your keep cup, I guess, to get your yeah. coffee. What sort of things did you do as a family? What were the little things you did initially? Um, so cloth nappies obviously was mm. the first one. Um, we started trying to be more organised, so we started taking our bags places we were going. I like the way you sounded the surprised then. We tried to be more organised. <laughs> yeah, we try. It's so hard, especially with four kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, so yeah, the coffee cup, taking that with us, not that we ever we were a bit too cheap to go and buy coffee. Um, we started composting. We heard about it and we went to some workshops through the Compost Collective and gave it a go and the amount of waste that you cut down from doing mm. that, so easy. And yeah. people are also quite willing for you to take your own containers too to a lot of shops nowadays, aren't they? Yes. To fill them up with goods and things. Yeah. So you're halfway through your challenge yeah. for 2018 yeah. um, for, of one bit of rubbish for the whole, or landfill <laughs> for the whole year. How's it going? It's going great. We're still completely surprised how well it's going. We have enough to line the bottom of our bin um, and that's it so far. Like We thought we were going to be at the point where we we're pushing down all the waste to try and fit wow. it all in, but we're not desperate. We're doing really well. What kind of bin? Uh, it's the, the Auckland rubbish bin. So okay, I just wanted to check yeah. on that, make sure it wasn't some sort of giant sized bin. So it's just a normal sized bin. Yeah. Um, when we first set the goal last year, I was like, maybe we should get a bigger bin and looked around at Mighty Turn and everywhere <laughs> and then decided, no, we'd better stick to it and do it properly. Yeah. I, I'm just thinking about my family with three kids. We fill up a bin per week and it can yeah. be overflowing. Yeah. It's an excessive amount of rubbish, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's quite terrifying when you start thinking about it. Every yeah. single family around the country yeah. is doing that. So what was the easiest things that you found to cut down on? Um, so nappies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, food waste. Food waste by having the compost systems. My husband eventually talked me into getting chickens. Um, if you can have chickens, have them. But um, it was just, again, being organised, as organised as you can be, packing lunches and just buying things in bulk instead of buying individual mm -hmm. packaging and thinking about when you buy something about the packaging that you're buying because you're buying the packaging as well as the item and it's it's going to be with you. Yeah, you yeah. really are. Yeah. Sometimes the packaging can be with you a lot longer than the item is. Yeah. And so what were the biggest, the, the hardships, what was the hardest part of it? Um, changing the mindset. So we use, we're in such a disposable world nowadays that yeah, you go out and I want to have a drink so you just go and buy a cup of drink and you don't think about it. And same with like sometimes I'm just absolutely shattered and you have to think about, oh, well, I need to wash the nappies because otherwise my kids are going to have no nappies for the night mm. or making the bread and just remembering that what you're doing, there is a reason why you're doing it. It's for the good, it's good for your children, it's good for the world, it's good for everything, just to, just to try it. <laughs> Did it surprise you when you first started it, when you went to the supermarket for the first time and you looked around at almost everything yeah. which comes in a package, isn't it? Even the fruit and veggies. Yeah. come in packages don't they or bits yeah. of plastic yeah it is it's quite scary like some, something simple as hot chocolate we love our hot chocolate and the brand that we always used to buy 
comes in like a container that's not recyclable or anything and just thinking, oh no, get a, just something as simple as hot chocolate. Mm. Finding a, an alternative was actually quite hard. And good for the kids too to start thinking about that sort of thing as well. Yeah. So there are some great businesses popping up though that can help you with your goal. Have you got any that you'd like to give a little bit of a plug to? Um, the Sleep Store, they were absolutely amazing. They've been giving us tips, they've given us um, some products to do as giveaways and things like that for workshops. Mm -hmm. um, in my kitchen, dot Kiwi. Um, yeah, they're really good. She's She makes a lot of her products, so they're all reusable, good alternatives. And Compost Collective have been absolutely amazing as well. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, well, best of luck. I, my hat's off to you, and I really think that's a challenge that possibly all of us should be taking on. Yeah. Um, so well done. Well done. Very inspiring. <laughs> Thank you so much, Coralie. Okay. Now, if you would like to get more information and check out a check-in on the Archer family's progress, you can head to their Facebook page and look at that bin, get full or not full. Plus, for more info on Plastic Free July, you can go to the website plasticfreejuly.org.